Here we go again with another step back towards clean, sustainable energy. Well over 1 million homes around the world are already benefiting from their own dedicated battery storage units. They charge up when energy is cheap, often from renewables like solar and wind, and discharge when you need it. Tesla confirmed that they alone have installed 750,000 power walls as of October 2024, but it's these Tesla Megapacks and other companies' battery storage units that have the power, or capacity I suppose, to transform our energy grid into a far more stable, efficient, cleaner and eventually more affordable energy systems for all of us. One thing's for sure though, we cannot endlessly rely on fossil fuels and ignore the geopolitical and environmental consequences that come with their use. The depletion of these finite resources leads to increased competition and potential conflicts over access and control. You know, all those stupid wars over oil, for example. While their extraction and consumption significantly contribute to climate change, pollution and health issues. Now, even the word climate change is a loaded word these days, but wherever you are on that spectrum, whether you think that aiming towards net zero at any cost is insane, which partly it is, or whether you think there's zero effects from man-made climate change and it's just fine to continue burning stuff for the rest of time and ignore the scientific consensus where numerous studies have shown that over 97% of climate scientists agree that human activities are the primary cause of observed global warming since the mid-20th century. Global warming matters because it has profound effect on our planet's climate, ecosystems, human societies, economies and overall quality of life. We need to be aware of the ecological balance that supports life on Earth. It's not just about preserving the status quo, but about ensuring a livable planet for future generations. Being accepting of more efficient, better technology is just one piece of the future energy puzzle that we need to work towards. But just as any disruptive technology throughout history has been met with scepticism, ignorance, fear, uncertainty and doubt, so too have battery energy storage systems. And there's no people quite like the British for standing up and saying, not in my backyard, thank you very much, collectively referred to as NIMBYs. For these silent, clean, non-polluting boxes which are filled with batteries that will be recycled at the end of their 40-year lifespan that can be hidden behind a hedgerow are just one step too far for local Luddites such as these. Taken from the BBC, Council rejects 33 hectare electric battery site. Plans to build an electricity storage station have been rejected by a council after hundreds of people objected. A committee at Buckinghamshire Council voted by a majority of 7 to 2 to throw out proposals for the 500 megawatt storage facility near Grainborough, a village between Buckingham and Aylesbury. Statera Energy wanted to store batteries in 518 shipping containers on what would be a 33 hectare site, which is just 0.1 square miles by the way. Let's look at where this proposed site actually is, just a, a field away from a national grid substation. Not exactly stunning architecture, but presumably the locals here were happy to receive electricity back in the late 19th century. Assuming this farm won't suffer any change of view thanks to this hedgerow, the nearest homes appear to be one, two, three, four fields away. How devastating to only have a three field uninterrupted view! I'm sure anyone who lives in a typical British terraced house street or a flat or let alone those mere peasants with just a one-field view must be outraged beyond belief at this multi-field view travesty. Don't let the fact that a small hedgerow will completely hide the facility from view and I couldn't help but notice when travelling through Grainborough on Google Maps that an enormous hedgerow already blocks the view anyway. The company said it was disappointed by the decision and would look at the next steps. At the meeting of the Strategic Sites Committee on Thursday, the council rejected the plans on the grounds that they would harm the landscape and its character. Any thoughts on depriving future generations of harnessing and storing clean energy? No? Thought not. Conservative Committee Chairman Alan Turner told fellow councillors, it is a business opportunity rather than providing any green energy. Hmm, sure, the business that invests money into this site will stand to make money. It's a business. But if you took the time to understand all of the benefits of battery energy storage systems, it should be a no-brainer. Here's a quick reminder. 
Storing excess energy. Batteries can save energy produced when it's not immediately needed, like solar power during the day, for use when demand is high or when the sun isn't shining. Backup power. They provide an emergency power source during blackouts or power cuts, keeping essential devices and systems running. Soothing out energy supply. Batteries help balance the grid by storing energy when supply exceeds demand and releasing it when demand is greater than supply, reducing fluctuations. Cost savings. By storing energy when it's cheap, like during off-peak hours, and using it when prices are high, you can save money on electricity bills. Reducing peak load. They help avoid the need for expensive peak power plants by supplying stored energy during peak usage times, thus reducing the overall cost of electricity infrastructure. Environmental benefits. By making renewable energy sources like solar and wind more reliable, batteries reduce the reliance on fossil fuels, lowering greenhouse gas emissions. Enhancing renewable energy use. Batteries make intermittent renewable sources more practical by storing energy when production is high and releasing it when production is low. Increased energy independence. For homes or businesses, having battery storage can reduce dependency on the main grid, particularly useful in remote areas or areas with unreliable power supplies. Grid stability. They contribute to a more stable electrical grid by providing services like frequency regulation and voltage support which are critical for grid operation. And finally, long-term investment. As battery technology improves and costs decrease, they become more attractive long-term investments for both personal and commercial energy management. By understanding these benefits, you can see how battery energy storage is not just about storing power, but also about making energy use more efficient, reliable, non-polluting and sustainable for generations to come. People living near the land, which is next to the East Claydon substation, this beautiful structure, also raise concerns about the risk of fires and explosions caused by so many batteries placed together. According to Local Democracy Reporting Service, Parish Councillor Steve Slater cited the Buntsfield Fuel Depot fire in Hemel Hempstead, Hertfordshire. Oh, you mean when firefighters had to tackle one of Europe's largest fires since World War II? at an oil storage facility owned by Texaco and Total, and was the UK's fifth largest fuel depot. The massive fire raged for four days and burnt through 100 million litres of fuel. 1,000 firefighters fought the blaze, 2,000 locals were evacuated, properties were damaged up to three kilometres away with the explosion. The explosion could be heard in France and the Netherlands. Miraculously, just 60 people required medical aid and zero people died from this catastrophic event. To suggest that a battery fire would be anywhere near as bad as any fire we see from the fossil fuel industry is simply wrong. I wonder if the locals that were parading this sign of an early Tesla Megapack fire in Australia knew that it wasn't yet hooked up to the safety systems, or that this was before Tesla switched to the inherently safer lithium-ion phosphate battery cells, LFPs, or that there were zero injuries and that the site resumed operations once the fire was put out. Remember that over one million homes already have battery storage attached to their homes? There are thousands of battery storage facilities around the world. Fires are so extremely rare that you need to worry about them as much as you do sleeping next to your phone's battery or travelling on an aeroplane with hundreds if not thousands of phones, laptops and devices, all with the very, very, very slim possibility of their batteries catching fire. Risks need to be weighed up sensibly and touting about this sign as proof of the dangers of battery storage is about as stupid as protesting with this sign outside a phone shop. A spokesperson for the Department of Energy Security and Net Zero said battery fires at storage sites were extremely rare in the UK. They added, Every battery storage facility we construct helps protect families from future energy shocks. I guarantee that that spokesperson said far more to rest assure the locals, but for some reason, that's all that was quoted here. The article goes on, Hideous monster! That's a bit rude, isn't it, poor chap? Statera wanted to store energy from renewable sources for the national grid, such as from wind and solar, and the firm said it wants to help wean Britain off fossil fuels. The very cheek of the company, how dare they want to improve our energy system and make it more efficient? The system would have remained in use for 40 years and would have helped power 540,000 homes, the company said. The MP for mid-Buckinghamshire Conservative Greg Smith warned the site would have been devastating to the environment and communities. 
and would have been another hideous monster to ravage the countryside. Just once more, look at these fields surrounding these villages. Devastating to the environment and communities, a relatively tiny area of land needed to house some silent, energy-saving containers that you won't even see behind a hedgerow. And that's devastating? Goodness knows what these people think of new housing estates or pylons. Proposals by different companies for a solar farm and another battery storage unit in the same area have also faced local opposition. What a shocker! Statira Energy said, We are disappointed by the council member's decision to refuse the application, especially given the positive recommendations from its officers. Every home on the planet could be powered either directly or indirectly from sustainable energy and battery storage. All vehicles could one day run on sustainable energy. I get it, it's tough for some people to embrace change, especially when it's as close as four fields away out your window. But if we are to move forward as a species and progress towards an energy abundant future, we need to do just that. We can't stay in the past, we can't say no to community benefiting projects like battery energy storage systems, as they are part of the solution to a cleaner, safer, reliable energy future. My suggestion, for what it's worth, would be to incentivise local communities to benefit financially from such projects. 20% off your electricity bill forever for residents within a certain area. No doubt far more of these applications would receive quick approval thanks to a dangling carrot. But enough about what I think, I'd love to hear your thoughts below. I read all your comments, so do get involved. I have covered a similar story in the past with these NIMBYs. Check it out next for an explosive look into the dangers of liquid petroleum gas, amongst other things. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.